Thank you for joining me at Ryan Dome. When we left off, we were creating custom trees, and in this episode, we're going to be doing something a little different. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to um, load another level through a trigger. So my plan is, the person, the player, is going to walk down this road, yada yada yada, the person's going to jump at us, <laughs> continue walking, and um, it comes to a clearing up here. And I'm going to put in a little house, and when you walk through the house, it's going to put you in another level of the interior of the, interior of the house, and it's going to be bigger and better. So, yeah, I'm going to now cue the speed play, and uh, you guys can watch me quickly build the house. And cue. Alright guys, so I've created a little bit of a house, um, it's like a little shack out in the middle of the forest, I think it's kind of cute. I made it all with blocks, or cubes, um, and just using the stretch sc tool, scalar tool, I don't know what it's called. But uh, I didn't use any external programs, so you guys should be able to make something similar to this. Um, however, it's I don't like the colors of it, it's, um, yeah, we need to add some textures. and. Without going onto the internet, I'm going to show you guys a really cool um, component that will allow us to texture things really neatly. So if you go up to, um, where is it, Window, and click on Asset Store, this is the Unity Asset Store. It has a whole bunch of um, things that you can buy along with free things that you can add to your game. Go up to Search and type 18, I think it's 18, free substances I, I believe that's it yeah 18 free substances go ahead and click on that and download and import it I have already downloaded it so all I have to do is import it and click import now this is really cool this was made by algorithmic whatever that however you pronounce that and let's just let, let this import what this does is it allows you to create materials, pre-materials, pre but uh, allow you to edit them and change their looks, which is uh, pretty unique, um, and it's really helpful, actually. Alright, so we can exit out of this, and you can see here, down in here, we have uh, the substances. So click on this, and you'll see a whole bunch of different substances. So I'm going to start with the chimney. Alright, now that I'm somewhat done with the house, um, I just quickly put in, um, just put in a couple textures real quick. I'm now going to add the trigger. So go to game object, 3D object, cube, spawn in a cube, and put it in the doorway. Alright, yeah, put it in the doorway. So, like so and then go ahead and stretch it out so it fills out the whole doorway that's good so I'm going to color this um, I'm gonna go into my assets folder go under textures and I'm gonna create a new material called door I'm gonna click on door add I'm gonna make it like a dark gray and I'm going to add that to the door there. So that's where you're going to enter. So, um, let me see here. So now that we've done that, we want to make it so when we walk through this cube, we get teleported to another level. So I'm going to remove the box collider so we can walk through it. Um, but when we, inst we actually, when we touch it, we're going to teleport. So how do we do that? we got to go to Assets, and I'm going to add a new script. Great new script. Um, and we're going to make this a C-sharp script, actually. So um, just title this, let's just name it, um, 
just uh, trigger. Oh, we already have that. Um, level. And open this up. You know what? No, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll do it in JavaScript. We'll keep everything, um, we'll keep everything the same. JavaScript. And just, uh, name this whatever you want. Name it level load. There we go. Open up level load. Alright, so, it basically it's saying when we enter that block, it's gonna... The application is going to load level 2. That's it. That's all the code for the script. We minimize this out. We'll clear out these random errors. All right. And we're going to click on our door or our cube. I'm going to name it door. And I'm going to add the level load onto that. So that's the level load script. However, when you play this at the moment, it's not going to load the level. What we have to do is we actually have to go to file, um, and then we have to go to build settings. Now, what is the build settings? The build settings are um, when you're done with your game, you go to the build settings and you build your game here. However, it'll only build levels that you have selected. So I'm going to add current level, which is the tutorial.unity, which is this one here. Save this. It's the exact same level that we're in right now. Okay. I'm going to go to now to File and New Scene. And you'll see we're on a blank slate. I'm going to go to Game Object, Create Other Cube. And I'm just, I'm just going to make this cube extremely big. And done. So for right now, this is our cube. Let me center this at 0, 0, 0. If I could center things, that'd be great. Okay. And I'm going to re-add um, our standard assets, character controller, our first person controller. And I'm going to go to back up to file, build settings, add current. Yes, save. I'm going to save this as 2. Save. And voila. So now, if we, if we play this level, we're just a character. It's very dark and there's no lighting and nothing. No flashlight. Well, we could go ahead, I guess, and real quickly add the, uh, the flashlight script to our player so that we can actually look around. Oh, we also need to redo the lighting and stuff. Don't worry about this, actually. Don't worry about the uh, flashlight. I'll just game on to create other directional light. All right, so if we go back to assets, though, and we click back on our tutorial and save that level, okay, what's going to happen is when we enter that house, it's going to load the next level. Um, so let's see what happens there. You know, actually, what did I say on that script? I said load level. I said load level 2. Oh, okay. So open... Go ahead and uh, open this back up and just change this to 1. I'll show you why in a second. Let's see if this works. We're in our game. We walk cube person scaring us. <laughs> Amazing. Alright, walk this way. We see our house in the distance. We're going to uh, walk through the door. Alright, brilliant. Nothing happened. Oh. Duh. It's supposed to be as a trigger. I didn't turn that on. So, I'm actually just going to pause this real quick. I'm going to go into the scene. I'm going to select this door. The door. Can I select it? Ooh. And we're going to have to add box collider. I know, I told you guys to remove the box collider. Put it back in. we got to make it a trigger. 
and continue playing. This hopefully works. Okay, we got an error. Level 1-1 cannot be loaded because it has not been added to the build settings. Okay, so it did try to um, load. File, build settings. So over here, see how it says level 1? I was assuming that that was level 1. However, it might go off of name. And I'm pretty sure it does now. So, really quickly... Um, load level, change this to 2, because that's the name of the level that we named it. Play our game, it, it will definitely work now. Just gotta quickly walk over there. I'm gonna walk through the forest and not get scared. Do do do. Ta-da, it loaded the next level. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this tutorial today. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Or if you just want to say hi, feel free to comment as well. That'll be it, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye-bye.